The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the doffing of Defence Force's personal protective equipment at level 3. This video will demonstrate the doffing of a Type 2R face mask with integrated visor and ear loops. Due to fatigue and degradation to users whilst wearing PPE, it is recommended to conduct doffing under the supervision of a PPE monitor in order to avoid mistakes in the doffing process. Doffing should be done in a controlled and methodical manner in order to avoid self-contamination. After you leave the clinical area, enter the doffing or orange zone. Step into the foot bath for one minute. If there is a PPE monitor, they will time this for you. The foot bath should contain 0.5% bleach solution, which is 1 to 2 cm in depth. If foot baths are not available, step onto incontinence sheets or mats and spray each sole thoroughly using a spray bottle. If outside, use a knapsack sprayer containing 0.5% bleach solution. Use the spray bottle to carefully spray the front, sides and back of the wellingtons or boots. Avoid spraying bleach onto your scrubs or uniform trousers as this will cause discoloration. Use the brush to remove any gross contamination such as blood or vomit. To avoid creating splashes, gently rub the surfaces of the footwear to evenly distribute bleach solution across the entire surface. Pay particular attention to the front of the boots where contamination is most likely. After one minute, step out of the foot bath onto an incontinence sheet or another suitable mat or surface. You will now carry out hand hygiene using the hand rub technique displayed. Decontaminate your outer gloves. If an automated alcohol gel dispenser is available, use this to assist in your doffing. Alternatively, if a PPE monitor is available, they will dispense alcohol gel directly to you. Both of these steps reduces the likelihood of hand contamination from having to repeatedly touch a pump dispenser. The next step is to remove the outer disposable plastic apron. Do not touch the front of the apron, which is where the most contamination is likely. To correctly remove the apron, break the neck loop and waist straps. Roll the apron downwards from your chest so that the contaminated outer surfaces are folded inwards. Avoid touching the outer surfaces of the apron. Dispose of the apron in the yellow clinical waste bin. Perform hand hygiene. Now remove the outer gloves. Hold the glove at the wrist and hook your thumb under the cuff to slowly peel the glove from the hand. As you remove the glove, be careful not to flick it and to gradually feed it into the palm of the opposing hand. Repeat this step with the opposite hand. Dispose of the gloves in the yellow clinical waste bin. Perform hand hygiene. We will now remove the gown, taking care not to touch the front outer surface, which is most likely to be contaminated. Carefully reach upwards towards the neck area and untie or break the upper strings. Be careful not to touch your neck. Now gently pull the sides to break the lower ties. Using your gloved hands, fold the gown away from your body gently, unrolling the sleeves away from your body and towards your hands. Slowly roll the gown up, being careful to avoid touching your uniform or scrubs. Dispose of the gown in the yellow clinical waste bin perform hand hygiene. Remove your inner gloves in the same manner as previously described. Hold the glove at the wrist and hook your thumb under the cuff to slowly peel the glove from the hand. As you remove the glove, be careful not to flick it and to gradually feed it into the palm of the opposing hand. Repeat this step with the opposite hand. Dispose of the gloves in the yellow clinical waste bin. Now perform hand hygiene. We will now remove the mask with integrated visor and ear loops. Reach behind your ears and grasp each loop. Lift the mask upwards and away from the face, being careful not to touch the front of the mask. Discard the mask in the yellow clinical waste bin. Perform hand hygiene. 
We will now remove the footwear. Take a seat on the chair provided, using the front instep of your left foot, loosen your right wellington and vice versa. On the side nearest the green zone, remove this foot first from the wellington. Place this foot into the corresponding croc, flip-flop or runner in the green zone. Repeat for the opposite foot. When both feet are in the green zone, stand up and perform hand hygiene using soap and water. If your lower legs are not fully covered by a gown or PPE, there is a small possibility of your trousers becoming contaminated. You should remove your scrubs or uniform, place them in an appropriate plastic or alginate bag for washing. If available, shower straight away and don a clean uniform or scrubs. If you do not have access to shower facilities, use your AB Decon wipe to wipe your face, ears and neck front and back. You can then shower at a later time.